Here is a picture of me in August 2015 sanding beams for my dad's timber frame business. The job was fun at first, but I soon got bored and started thinking about ways I could make it more fun. In May of 2020, I finally decided to start building a sanding robot to help with the tedious job of sanding large timbers. My design involved a frame with rollers on each side to keep the robot aligned on the beam. The hardest part was deciding how big to make the frame and how to make the fourth side of the frame adjustable to fit different sizes of beams. After experimenting with various wooden blocks, I assembled a frame with screws and about a gallon of wood glue. I used the motors and computer from a robotics kit to make my machine go. In this video, I'm using an app on my phone to control the direction and speed of the robot. My first challenge was figuring out how to make the 5 inch wide sander move laterally across the beam. I thought about using threaded bolts or maybe a rack and pinion. The easiest option was a small plastic vise that had about 8 inches of travel, enough to sand anything 12 inches and under. Originally, I planned to have the robot motors drive the tires to push the machine with no gear reduction, but their low torque meant that I had to buy 4 aluminum gears and build new wheels and frames to give the motors about a 5 times increase in torque. After a few hours of sanding with the robot, I had to glue one of the legs on that broke when I accidentally caused it to fall off the beam. After the repair, I filmed this time lapse of me using the machine to sand 24 foot long beams. It took only a few minutes to sand each side, the surface became evenly smooth when compared to my sister's hand sanding, which took longer and left more sanding marks. A surprising challenge was balancing the weight of the machine so it pressed down on the sander evenly. I had to add a steel bar to the adjustable side of the machine to balance out the computers and extra framing on the opposite side. The robot was more fun to drive and faster than sanding by hand. Since my early tests, I have been improving the sander by adding small things to it such as a cable protector. The small improvements have shown me that building a new machine is an ongoing project. This sanding robot is far from finished. 